Hey guys, Don Russo here from Freeway Music. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, as you know, I'm a big video game nut and I love all the video games. <laughs> um, but one of my favorites of all time is Halo. Halo is definitely like, maybe, maybe number one. It's definitely way up there for me. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about one of the most infamous game songs of all time, the Halo theme. Uh, and I'm gonna teach it to you on guitar. So let's get rocking. So we're gonna start right off with the portion of the song that has the the where the choir comes in and they're singing. You know, everybody knows it. The cool. So let's start with that. It's basically all E minor, and, and technically it's an E minor Dorian sound, because you got that natural six, that, that C sharp in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the seventh fret of the A string, I'm gonna play seven, nine, 10, nine, like this. And that's a E, F sharp, G, F sharp, those are the notes. And I'm gonna come up here to the seventh fret of the D string, down the 10, nine, and seven on the A string, so that part is. Good, and then I'm gonna go to the ninth fret of the D string, up to six on the G, then seven, back to six, seven on the D, six on the G, down to nine on the D string. Then I'm gonna come all the way down to the seventh fret of the low E. 10, seven, 10 on A, seven D, nine on D, on the A string. And then I'm gonna go seven, 10, nine, seven, nine on the A string. And then 10 on the low E, back to seventh fret on the A. Okay, it's all together. Cool, and that's when the rocking part comes in, uh, which basically sounds like it should be a rocking guitar part, right? And I think that Slash redid a version of it where it actually does rock out. So this is gonna be like, I'm gonna palm mute the low E, like this. And if you know what palm muting is, basically I'm gonna use the, the heel of my palm right here. I'm gonna have it against the bridge. And so when you palm mute, you don't want it too much where it's too muted, but you don't want it too far back where it's too open. So it's just past the open point where it's palm muted, okay? I'm just gonna go down, up, down. Then I'm gonna hit the seventh fret of the A string, which is an E. And then I'm gonna go to the ninth fret, which is an F sharp. And then the tenth fret, which is G, and the twelfth. And then quickly right into uh, open again. Then I'm gonna go 12, 10, 9, or A, G, F sharp. So all together it looks like this. And that's gonna be the, the what I call the B section, okay? So now we're gonna move into the C section, okay? And this part is similar to that previous section we just did, it's gonna be another rocking part. So the chords involved are gonna be like an E5 chord like this. So that's just gonna be open, two and two. So E, B, and E, that makes a power chord. And then I'm gonna go here to E, to the fourth fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string. This would be like an E minor six or an A over C sharp. Uh, there's lots of different things. You can call it C sharp, half diminished. There's all kinds of kinds of uh, chords you can call this. Uh, so we'll just go with uh, E minor six for now. And then this next chord is like an A minor over C. So uh, I'm gonna have like, a, I'm gonna be third fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D string. This is a big stretch. Then I'm gonna do a walk down, seven, five, four on the D string. 
So these are the chords. And then you're going to have palm muting in between. So the first one is like three palm mutes. And then this next part, I'm going to go palm mute, then strum up basically three times on the four and the two here, which is that E minor six. So. Same rhythm here. And I got like a rest in there. Then I'm going to do three palm mutes. So I got. I'm sorry, there's only one palm mute there. So one palm mute here, then I'm going to go up, and then up again, then down, up. So I got. All right, so that's what I call the C section. Okay, um, it's very tr it's very challenging rhythmically, but and then there's a big stretch in there that can be a little challenging if you're not used to big stretches like that. Okay, moving into the D section, this will be like basically the main. I think the hardest part because it's a lot of picking. It's very uh, technical. Okay, so we're gonna come up here uh, to the twelfth fret of the B string. I'm gonna go. Let's start with that run first, okay? So I'm going to 12, 12, 14, 15, then 12, 15, 14, 12. That's all on the B string. Then I go 14 on the G, 14 on the D. So. Cool. And then I'm going to go back here to the G string, and I'm going to go 14, 14, 14, 12 on the B string, 14 on the B string, 12 on the B string. 14G, 14D, this part. So 14, 14, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 14. So, so those first parts together go like this. Cool. Um, and then the next part starts on the 12th fret of the B string as well. It's going to go 12, 14, 15, 12. Like that, so. Then I'm going to go 11 of the G string. I'm going to 11, 12, 14. Cool, one more time, slower. Cool, and this next part is pr pretty weird, okay? But I'm going to take it from the top so far, what we got in the B section. So we got. And this next part is going to basically be like a, like a B minor triad. I'm going to go 14, 15, 16. So that's high E, B, and G. So, And I'm going to hold that. 17th fret of the high E string, which is an A. So. And then I'm going to leave, while I'm leaving that ring in, I'm going to go here and go 16, 17, 14 with my middle ring and first finger. So 16 D, 17 D, 14 G. So, so just kind of let that one ring while you're doing that. Now I'm going to put my middle finger back down on the 15th fret of the B and just strum up three times. So Now do that again. But this time I'm going to pick it up from the 15th fret of the B and go 15, 17, then high E, 14, 15, 17. So, one more time, let me do a little slower for you. Okay, that's going to be a uh, continuation of the this D section here. So I'm going to take it from the beginning of that all together. So we got... Cool. 
cool. And then from there, I'm gonna pick it up from the 12th fret of the B and the high E together. So this is gonna be 12, 10, 12, 14. So all these are gonna be double stops, just two notes. So one more time. So 10, 12, 10, 12, 14, 12, 14, 15. So we got. And then from here, the 15, as soon as I hit that, I'm gonna go 15, 14, 12, 14, 12, 10. Then I go 10, 12, 14, so. Cool, so from the top of this section here. Then I'm gonna pick it up from the high E string on the 12th fret. So right here, I'm gonna just pick it up and I'm gonna go 12, 12, 14, 15, then 12, 15. Then I'm gonna start doing what's called a scalar three. I'm gonna walk down the scale doing three notes at a time. Okay, so watch this. 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 14, 15, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14. 12, 14, 12, so it's from here. And I land on the 12th fret of the G string, okay? This is all E Dorian still, all these notes. Cool, this is this is where I feel like it's get it gets pretty weird, okay? We're gonna go to the 15th fret of the B string and the G string and the 13th fret of the B and the G string. I'm gonna go. So all I'm doing is just going 15, 15, 13, 13. And I'm gonna do this almost four times, like three and a half times, so watch this. And on the fourth time, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go on the high E string, 17, 18, 20, 18, 17, so. Then I'm gonna hit the, four, the 14th fret of the G string, and I'm gonna do this same little lick. But I end it differently, so I'm gonna go 14, 17, 17, 15, 15, 17, 15, 17, 15, 17. Then I'm gonna go to the high E string, I'm gonna go 14, 15, 14, 17, 15. So the whole thing looks like this. Um, I'm gonna pick it up from here. Okay, good. Let me put the whole D section together for you. This part's really complicated. Cool, and that's the entire D section, which is, it's pretty bizarre um, if you just listen to it by itself, okay? Uh, so we got the A, B, C, D section, and then there's, um, and I call, actually I call this the E section right here, the, this right here. I call that the, the E section, all of that, okay? So there's really like A, B, C, D, E, five sections to the tune. Uh, we've got the, the, the chanting part. the C part, so. And then 
in the D part. Well, let's try again. Cool, and then right from that section, it goes right back into the uh, to the um, the the C section. Yeah, so. And after doing that for a bit, it goes back to the E section. And then it goes back to the B section. A little slight variation here, it's gonna hit that this twice. Though. At the end, it does this big open E chord, which is really hard to pull off on the guitar. I was trying to think of different ways to show you guys how to do this. It's basically like an E minor 13. It's just like literally every note in the E Dorian scale you can play. So, I mean, you can try to do something like, you know, you know, like uh, this kind of like. But it just sounds jazzy. It doesn't sound right to me. Maybe hit some harmonics like that. And then it just goes right back into that Gregorian chant. That... All right, guys, so there you have it. That's the Halo theme on the guitar. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel and please comment. Let us know what you thought. And if there's a song that you want to learn from another video game, please let me know. Check out our other video game songs from like Animal Crossing and Super Mario and Zelda. And my goal is to give you guys a new game theme song every week that you can learn on the guitar. So anyway, have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you.